One of my favorite types of technologies is things that let you see the world in a new way. Optical instruments, whether it be a telescope, a microscope, or just a simple lens that doubles your magnification. Those are my favorite types of tools. And I'd like to share this little piece of technology that I recently got. I came across a jeweler's loop, uh, just purchased it off Amazon. This is $10. Something like this is super powerful, super fun to see the natural world around you. And it's a little complicated, you know, the, the science that goes into this, the, the math that shapes the lens and the materials that make the glass. They're somewhat complicated. It's not a primitive technology. I couldn't make anything like this for, for sure. But for $10, it's a real boon to have in your toolkit. For me, I'm collecting optical instruments right now, and this was a very welcome addition. Obviously, it's good to look at minerals and stuff. You can see things that you wouldn't normally see with your naked eye. And that's the point. This is a technology that lets you see the world differently. But I recently got some footage of a few plants and animals that I could never see in such exquisite detail with my naked eye. So to start off, showing a collection of tools and techniques and technology that I've acquired, let's start with seeing the world in a new way. Here, the first thing I wanted to test out was how well it worked with my phone. And thankfully, it seems to work very well. This little sprig of lavender was moving around, which made it hard to see, but as I was doing this, thankfully and luckily, a bee landed right where I was looking at. Just being able to see this bee up close, all the details in it, is a really wonderful thing. I would never get my face super close to a bee otherwise. For lunch I had an apple, and I had a little peeling from the apple, so I thought why not save it and take a, take a look. Uh, this is pretty zoomed in, but I the detail just looks kind of rough. I mean, it's interesting to look at, but I can't really tell if the roughness is the cells or really how zoomed in I'm looking at here. Just looks interesting. There's two settings or two lenses on my loop. One is 30 and one is 60, I believe. This is at the 60 times magnification, so you can see that rough detail just a little bit more and kind of make out what this is. Also, for lunch, I had a walnut, so I took one of those out to get a quick look. And one thing to notice is that just that vascular uh, vein running through it. That's kind of crazy and creepy to look at, but I like the way it is. And just the roughness. Walnut's actually not that interesting to look at underneath the microscope. Or underneath the jeweler's loop. I grabbed a rose petal from the garden, and I did not expect the following. Of course, I saw... The plant and the dew on it which wasn't visible to my eye just the interesting bits about it but then i noticed this little thing moving down there what in the world yep that's an aphid and a rosebush has them but i have never seen one uh especially not this close it's just moving around there it's being kind of weird definitely wouldn't be able to see it in that much detail uh just with the naked eye you might be able to see like a little green speck if you knew what you're looking for but to see it moving around it's little antennae it's little legs. Creepy, absolutely, but well worth it. But here's a closer look with a higher magnification. You can definitely see that. I don't know if it's like a little baby or something, but the big one seems to be dead. It wasn't really moving at all. And the little one is just like messing with its wing. Underneath the lens, the gravel, the sidewalk just looks like gravel. Huge rocks, but nope, that's pretty much sand. Here's a better shot of that lavender sprig. You can see how fuzzy it is, but also that flower. That looks like a regular flower, it's just too tiny to see normally. And that really means a lot to me because I'm into botany, so being able to observe the botanical structure of this plant is important to me. We have what I believe is juniper bushes outside my house, and this is just the tip of one of the uh, leaves, I guess, of it. Interesting to look underneath the microscope, kind of looks like asparagus, but is otherwise boring. And that's the thing, not everything is particularly interesting to look at. These don't have much detail, they just look, look like tiny little dots. But the thing is, is that to get close enough to look at this, even with, with just the lens itself, not on my phone, I 
got a smell of the tree that was a really nice refreshing smell that I wouldn't really have gotten if I didn't stick my face into the plant. So it's not just my sight that I'm improving, but this is an opportunity to get a better smell of some of these plants as well. And to bring it all home, once again, I can see details that I wouldn't see with my naked eye. Those little yellow dots aren't visible. Uh, it just looks like a red berry. Uh, also, like I could see that they're wrinkly or smooth just with my normal sight, but it's interesting again to see it a little bit up close. So this is just a first example of one of the tools in my collection, one of the technologies that I've obtained. And I'd like to make videos like this, showing off what these techniques and items can do, how they can help us see the world around us and appreciate it, and also possibly make some changes to it. I'll have plenty more coming. Thanks for sticking around for this one.